why in these days money has become so important in everyone's life? I didn't know cats are important. Money, money is cats. Money is cats? Hmm. In Maharashtra, if you are living in Maharashtra, you should know money is cats. Anyway, I know you are Marwadi, so you are for you, money is different. Why is money important? Money is the means to achieve whatever you wish for. Therefore, it is important. If I want to have food, I need money to buy food. If I want to wear clothes, I need money to buy clothes. If I want to have a house, I need money to buy a house. So, money is the method which enables me or gives me the power to acquire whatever I desire for. So, money can buy you happiness? Ah, good question. If money could buy happiness, the richest man would be the happiest man. Does that happen? Then, then you answered yourself. Money cannot buy happiness. But generally, the success of a person is equated to the amount of money that person has. Who equates it? We as the other human beings, we equate it. So, ye bahut... so it is the society that decides that money is equal to success. Hmm. I have a lot of money, but I have a lot of diseases. I have a lot of tensions. I have a lot of stress. I have a lot of broken relationships, but I have tons of money. Would you label me successful? By your logic, society would label this individual successful because he has tons of money. Ask the person whether he is successful. I wish I didn't have arthritis. I wish I didn't have cardiac disease. I wish I didn't have diabetes. I wish I was on good relations with my children. I wish and there would be an endless wish of what he is lacking in his life, despite having all the money which people think can buy anything and everything. So, do you think along the way he got a lot, he got very arrogant? We are not talking about the person, we are talking about money. Can money give me success? Not necessarily. Is money a yardstick for success? Yes, in the eyes of many people. But is it the parameter for success? Not necessarily. I wanted to be a scientist. I became a scientist. I became an inventor as a scientist. I succeeded in whatever I planned to do with my life. But I was not paid adequately. I am a struggler in finance. But I am able to make my two ends meet. I am having a common man's life. But I am a brilliant scientist. Am I not successful? Yeah, Society will say I am not successful because I don't have the money. So who decides success? Society or you? Your success is defined by society or you? So if money is the yardstick for success, then the greatest criminals should be deemed very successful because they have tons of money. And you are seeing it in India today. A lot of criminal activity is well paid for. Would you call them successful? In their field, yeah. Would you call them successful? Would you call criminals who have tons of money as successful? Would you like to get your daughter married in that family? Ah, now you are talking. Why? Successful. A lot of money. So this answers that the society's parameter of success is wonky. When you excel in a field of your choice, irrespective of the remuneration that you derive, you are successful. I'll give, I'll give you an example which is during our lifetimes. Okay? Would you consider Ajit Wadekar as the captain of the Indian cricket team? A successful captain? Yeah. Yeah. He was known successful. What was his payment during the, his playing days? Oh, it was. Peanuts. Mm -hmm. Compared to what ordinary cricketers make in IPL today, Ajit Wadekar's remuneration was peanuts because he was still an employee of State Bank of India, earning a salary from State Bank of India while he was the captain of the Indian cricket team. 
बट ही इज कंसिडर्ड सक्सेसफुल वेर वॉज द मनी नो मनी बट इन इज फील्ड एक्सट्रीमली सक्सेसफुल मनी इज नॉट इक्वल टू सक्सेस मनी हैज बीन मेड इन द आईज ऑफ द सोसाइटी एज अ पैरामीटर टू जज सक्सेस फॉल्सली सो even to judge whether a person is intelligent or not money is one of the criteria not necessary not necessary some of the most intelligent brains you will find in rural environments barely able to have two square meals but brilliant extremely intelligent would you call a classical singer a successful person yeah when the film industry started in india the classical singer was not even valued he had no place in the movies he wouldn't get a job of a singer in the movies but he was brilliant in his field ordinary singers who got name fame and money in the film industry would be no patch on this classical singer who is more successful from the society's point of view the man who made money is more successful from the skill point of view the fellow who has excelled in classical singing is more successful you define your parameters of success if money is your parameter for success it's your choice so i'm not talking about as an individual i'm talking about as in the form of a society the society always measures it with who lives your life you live your life or your society lives your life we live it with the society you live it with the society so you are living your life to please the society or you are living the life to please yourself you need acceptance also in your life to no, answer the question do you live your life to please yourself or do you live your life to please the society if if it, you are given a choice select one what would you select to please myself there you are but here we are trying to please the society and the society's parameters of success are money so to please the society i want to acquire money by hook or crook and therefore you have now more crooks and less hooks we equate money with success how do we make the next generation break out of this cycle who are you to break the next generation out of any cycle why are you assuming the responsibility of being the social reformer number 1 okay so let's keep this aside so let's say it would be beneficial for the younger generation to break out of this vicious cycle of money and success let's assume that okay how do i make them get out of this vicious cycle the parameter for success should be joy that i am living a joyful life when will i be joyful when i am physically healthy when i am emotionally balanced when i am mentally capable of applying reason logic and arriving at decisions which eventually work out to be right using the word right which makes me joyful these are the parameters of success where is the money in this money is there as a means to achieve all this but if money becomes the goal then i sacrifice all these things because now i am chasing money whereas i should be chasing my health physical my emotional health balance my intellectual health challenges opportunities which give me joy in attempting and solving and my overall life the necessary resources to meet my day to day needs if that is my parameter of success then i am not chasing money whatever money comes i am able to take care of all these four things but when i make money as the goal then these things get sacrificed when these things get sacrificed my joy is lost then am i successful and that is the answer why the most moneyed man is not the most happy man in the eyes of the society is the most successful man but in his own eyes there is something lacking so be happy in your own eyes that is the parameter of success 
वी आर कॉन्स्टेंटली लुकिंग आउटवर्ड्स उसका बेटा देख उसका फादर देख मेरा नेबर देख ही हैज दिस मोर देन मी That is where you destroy your joy. He has more than you because he has more money. That makes you run after money. In the process, you are sacrificing these four things, which are very important for any living being. Physical health is important for you, yes or no? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you tons of money. Can you give me your kidneys? No, I would not like. You would not like to, yeah. So physical health is important. I'll give you tons of money, but there will be constant jagada in your house. Will you like that? No. So mental peace, emotional balance is important for you. I'll give you tons of money, but don't use your brain. Is it okay? Not okay. So you are sacrificing all this running after money. You want to train the younger generation, catch them young. Young means really young child. Teach them values. Today the values that we that are being taught to the children is पैसा बनाओ कैसा बनाओ मत पता नहीं लेकिन पैसा बनाओ That's why you are having a society which is running after money. You have directed them towards money is God. लक्ष्मी पूजन करते हो लक्ष्मी पूजन के साथ साथ आप सरस्वती पूजन भूल गए हो Knowledge is not important now. पैसा बनाओ कैसे भी बनाओ अंगूठा छाप आदमी भी पैसा बनाता है He is not bothered about knowledge. He is not bothered about education, culture, tradition. Why? Money has been glorified. Sometimes you get the satisfaction if you can fulfill the needs of your family through money. So money does play an important. Did I say money is not important? Money is important to achieve whatever are your needs. to satisfy your needs but money cannot be the goal because you need very little money to satisfy your needs but when money is your goal what do you do, do with that money put it in swiss bank and then multiply it and then lock it up hoard it and then non performing asset that money could have been used for the development of the under privileged class you have locked it in your personal account made it unusable depriving opportunities of progress for a variety of people let's take 100 richest people in the world who have hoarded their wealth in banks and vaults if that money is made available for the development in the right of hand uh, i mean in the hand of right governance would it not benefit society yeah loads it will. but we have now cultivated people who are chasing money and hoarding money look at all the leaders and government government people what are they doing are they governing or are they hoarding hoarding 10% is in governance 90% is in hoarding and we call it corruption so are you happy with corruption that's your answer so the whole subject is about right understanding any subject you deal with and you are dealing with the subject of money we don't have the right understanding of the utilization of money or the need of money you want to learn right understanding there is a course available life and breath which starts with the noble eightfold path the first step in the noble eightfold path is right understanding come and learn don't stay away from this course please join